we've got to put up with this, as I understand. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. Until uh, summer of 2023, is that right? Is that when his contract expires? Well, it might get better. It's not that long ago. You were top of the league. Yeah, I know that wasn't that long ago. But look what's happened now. We've, we, we, I mean, I want to, I want him out. I've, I've listened to his interview now again before this Europa League. And we're bored to tears. And I should think everybody else, or the other Spurs fans, are li- listening to what he's rabbit on about, on about. We're just bored to tears of it. And I can sum him up like the chicken I had on my um, tray in the oven at the weekend when I was making uh, Sunday roast. Because Jose, he's the big chicken in the middle of the ba- uh, tray with all the potatoes around, which are the players. Whereas Pochettino, he was one of the potatoes. And that's why he got everyone working for him. Jose is too dominant. He's a big chicken. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, Alex, I've heard some, do you know, there's been some analogies in there thrown around about why perhaps, but I've not heard one where Pochettino has been likened to a spud, right? Uh, and that's, that's a pretty new one, mate, I've got to say. Listen, I hear that a lot from a lot of Tottenham fans. I've got friends that are Tottenham fans and I hear it a lot. Rad enough, can't go on for much longer. Can't this, that and everything else. Look, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, I don't believe it's the right course of action to get rid of Jose Mourinho now. If Daniel Levy actually is genuinely thinking he's lost it a bit and he's lost them, meaning the players, um, then for 30 million quid or whatever it is, then Spurs have to be big enough and brave enough to say thanks, Jose, and and change it and Mm. do it. Whatever you say about Roman Abramovich, it's been cruel and even the Frank Lampard... Uh, 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 the change there with Frank seemed harsh, didn't it? it? Seemed a little bit, a little bit premature, a bit. And uh, and yet he just does it. He says, "No, I'm doing it. I want to do it. I'm doing it today. Get it done now, right?" And they do it, and they change, Aid, and they move on, and the club moves on, and the fans seemingly sort of start to move on pretty quickly as well. If Daniel Levy is getting the vibe that Jose, that Jose's methods are no longer what they were. And the, all that stuff I just trotted out about what he done at Madrid and what he done at Inter, and that he's incapable of producing that anymore. And get him gone, get him gone. And, that, and thirty million quid should not should not be the reason why you don't do it. Eh? Not if you're Tottenham Hotspur, not if you're Spurs. I don't believe they're in a final. They're how, in a final. How exactly. much does Daniel Levy want to win a cup? You well, know, there you go. You know he wants he, to win that and, cup. And look, I, at the moment, can I see Spurs beating Man City? Like no chance on a one-off occasion. If there was a one manager. I could choose to pick any team on a one-off occasion to go and win one game. I'd pick him. I'd pick Jose. I would pick him to beat to beat a Guardiola team. If there's one coach out there that might be able to do it, I'd take him over everyone else. Not over ten games. I think Guardiola at the moment are beating eight two nine one. But the on any one-off occasion, if you can pick a manager to set a team up to go and do something, and for some reason find him what it takes to get it done, I wouldn't look beyond him.